Oh, it's downshifted again. Full throttle, and we're slowing down. This is full throttle. Slowing, oh. <laughs> it's full throttle. <laughs> Oh. Lack in the torque department, but. That was a $20 hill, I bet. <laughs> Dang, that thing sounds so good. Holy crap. Dude, you should rev it. Alright. What up, YouTube? We're gonna do the best mod I think you can do to a GX. What's wrong with this? It looks old. Its lenses are chrome and yellow. I got gray wheels. So I buffed these like three or four months ago and they're already yellow. The lenses up close, like spider cracking. It looks like they're OEM headlights, so original. The one over here has a crack in it, which I don't know how that happens. But yeah, look at this fucking yellow. And the look just does not look that good. So we got some new headlights we're gonna install. better holy crap no i'm jump. taking a picture yeah go jump yeah i'm gonna fall <laughs> it's a black chrome matches the wheels or chrome and yellow they look way better So after going through the hitch collection, realized we didn't have the right hitch. So it needs to be a two inch receiver, which this one is, but it needs to be the two inch and five sixteenth ball, which this one is. And these are not interchangeable. So we had to go to two stores and we found what we needed. It's like a little bit over in a three inch drop, which should be fine. Got a hitch. Let's see. Ouch. <laughs> see if you can get it first try. how good it is. Can you find the hole ladies and gentlemen? Can you find the hole? <laughs> Can I rely solely on the reverse camera? Aiming the camera and trying to drive is kind of hard. You gotta go higher. Ugh. There you go. Woo. So the airbags are not inflated. They're not even hooked up. I don't even have the fuses in. So we're gonna see how much it squats. Uh, without the airbags. Hey, that doesn't seem too bad. Oh 
shit, do we even need airbags? <laughs> I can finally tow. Oh, I can finally tow. It didn't even like... Do anything. It didn't even move. <laughs> gotta check the straps. All right. <laughs> so no trailer brakes as of now. Oh God. <laughs> we finally did it. <laughs> okay, experiment time. I got to find my fuses. Film this without filming the WRX. Don't film the WRX. <laughs> so with uh, Eibach lift, it tells you to pull these fuses, and I did. But now we're reusing the compressor, and there's an empty slot here, so I'm assuming that's where that went. And now I'm assuming off my memory from a month ago that those are the fuses I pulled. You buy a used Lexus, you get one clip per plastic because everything else is missing. And we got new sport headlights. I have not updated YouTube on that to match the gray combo I'm going for. All right, should we get a tape measure to get scientific, even though we're on a hill? So now we got the fuses back in. I have not messed with the ride height sensors. We should bring tools and then go do this on flat ground. Like a champ. My poor rear diff is going to explode. We're towing so far with no bags, but we're towing in stock form with the Eibach lift. The car is so crooked. <laughs> Don't run up a hill and film. I just picked up all my WRX show car parts, so they're all wrapped in suede. And Skylar's hitching a ride on the back. This might be a little scary at speed. But it's probably not. I mean, people probably do this all the time. All right, flat part. So we're in neutral height wise. Now let's go inspect. Dude, it's not even like. It's no problem. 
It's not even sagging. Really. But like, not even very bad. Oh, that's a sick picture. So as of now, no air. And these sensors are all the way at the bottom. So we're gonna exaggerate and go all the way to the top. So ride height sensors all the way up. Let's see what that does. Compressor is now on. Height mode is engaged. That thing is hard as hell. Oh, that's creaking. <laughs> So I wonder if the trick is to shim it, the sensor, so it works in neutral maybe, and then when I'm not towing, I'll just pull the fuses. Because how I'm not going to be towing that often. Now when he's... Presser just turned off. Would you say that's sagging or is that no, normal? I think that's normal? I want to air this bitch out. I'm going to air it out. <laughs> okay, low setting. All right, for some reason it won't go low. It must, it must have, and we just didn't really notice. Because this doesn't necessarily lift the vehicle. I mean, it can if the spring is totally pressing on the airbag. It's supposed to make the spring rate stiffer. If that makes sense. As it expands, it gets in the coil springs and makes it stiffer. So with the Z, with the Z that far ahead, how much tongue weight do you think we have? We have, yeah. The thing about a uh, high is it goes back down to neutral height after 20 miles an hour. So we're gonna have to trick it somehow. You hear the compressor still going. Huh? Yeah, it just got to its high setting. All right, want to go drive it? So as of now, we have zero trailer brakes. Just stock 470 brake calipers. I plan on doing the 460 brake upgrade. Okay, let's hit this bump at some speed. Oh, so we just went over 20. Now it's going to neutral. So we're gonna have to shim and trick it, and then when we're not towing, just pull the fuses. But this is plenty of height for Evergreen. Look at all these houses, god damn. This used to be all woods. So at 35s, a probably 3,000 pound 350Z and a 2,500 pound trailer. It's a little sluggish, but definitely doable. I'm not rest. I'm not necessarily sure about mountain passes, but I'm sure we could get like six miles a gallon up a pass or less. Point six.
poor GX. Got 210,000 miles. It's got 70 pound wheels and tires and now a fucking total Z. It's got a tow around. <laughs> Trans cooler, power steering cooler, brake upgrade is in the plans. You don't need to tell me. <laughs> you don't need to tell me. Yeah. I already know. <laughs> <laughs> So I think. All right. I don't want to make the Z come through the hatch, but. Oh yeah, we don't really stop. Okay. <laughs> Breaking is a suggestion and not a demand. <laughs> at this point. Wow, that's kind of scary. Well, if the trailer breaks your wire properly, it would help. I need a controller. Uh, yeah, you do. A 240. Alright, 25 mile per hour corner. Come in at 35 and break. Oh. talking about. Yeah, I'd say it's like no problem for uh, taking it to Evergreen. It's yeah. Like ideal. So this is going to be my drive. Come down this big hill. I thought we could just go drifting right now. There's an open drift today so we could go drifting if we wanted to. get our COVID vaccine to our right, which, yeah, let's not do that. So we're in a, one minute into our drive, and there's the track. So I do not have to borrow my parents' truck to tow the race car, no more. Okay, we're going for the hill. I'm so excited I can tow now. God damn. If this is considered towing. Tabs on the trailer are expired, so I gotta deal with that. Okay, so speed is off by five, so we're going 40 now. 2,500 RPMs. Oh, it's downshifted again. Full throttle, and we're slowing down. This is full throttle. Slowing, oh. <laughs> it was full throttle. <laughs> yeah, oh. lack in the torque department, but. That was a $20 hill, I bet. <laughs> Still slowing down. <laughs> the two, it downshifted twice. You made it though. Oh god, we didn't. Oh no. The Z never had hooked in. Yeah, we weren't going that fast. <laughs> Don't need hood pins where we're going. We almost made a huge mistake. The Z hood is not shut. We went on the freeway for freeway testing. That would have been bad. Do you guys think there's a chance the 240 will start?
started it in probably four months. It's got an issue where the starter, where it just clicks. Uh, it either needs a new starter or a new power cable. If you're a GX owner and don't know what this car is, it is my 240 Pro-Am drift car. It's got a stock 1J in it with a drift motion turbo upgrade, which is a stock turbo. You can see it says Toyota on it. With a bigger billet wheel and a bigger exhaust wheel. Um, electric water pump. A triple pass radiator. So a, this is a 1J car front mount radiator and it never gets hot. Wall valve isn't really working, but it's okay. Dog box. Dang, that thing sounds so good. Holy crap. Dude, you should rev it. toes now and yeah we got a hitch to the airbags and it worked and I can tow my race car without borrowing a truck